see when there's new fog on the map. This map is freaking gorgeous, dude. I mean, look at this thing. Now, look, this is how you easily determine like where people are going and we're going to gatekeep at, right? Basically, like three teams went that way and everyone else basically landed in this area here. So if you look at zone, it's going to favor this side. So all the guys that went over here are going to be easily gatekept. You don't have to land there, but just notice whenever you land down or just know that whenever you land down, if you want to get heat, these are the buildings you go to. Or you can keep playing in here when the circle dives more this way. Those are the buildings you go to. Let's go ahead and die nine times real quick so I can spectate. Savage, why is your candy only a three? Because I die a hundred times a day. This is why. All right, so again, I wanted to I wanted to spectate solos. One, because most of you guys were solos players. And two, I wanted to see if people froze up as much as they did in Almazra and Ashika. Honestly, good challenge. I mean, I don't know what we're doing right now, bro. Better luck next time. It's a good challenge right there. The fact that he actually challenged the enemy, but I wouldn't have jumped over. I would have played that as a heady or went on the side. That was real risky. Also, the enemy's laying there. I don't care what mode it is, solos or whatever, whatever map it is. When you're not plated and you have no health and the enemy's just laying there, you're taunting him. You have a huge risk of dying. And if you guys watch my live streams, you know that I love the teabag bitches. I'll die for it just because it makes everyone laugh. It makes me laugh. It makes me feel better about myself. But if it's no, there's a there's a side effect to that. There's a consequence to teabagging out in the open like that or just standing there talking your shit. You might die. So I'd recommend plating up. And if you don't have plates, kill him. Get his plates and just taunt the next guy. But I do, I do love assaulting somebody with my nuts across their face in this game. I really do. These orange crates though, bro. I wouldn't again worry about your weapons. We got a buy station. Make sure you got decent ones, but don't focus too much on like what weapons you want and don't want. Cause hopefully we're gonna go buy a load of here soon. What else do you have in your inventory where you're like, fuck the self res, bro. Okay, interesting. What does he drop for this? Oh, you mean to tell me you had an extra gas mask and you dropped the cell for it? Psychopaths. Well, what are you dropping for this? He's going to guard it. <laughs> so this is my precision. I can't pick it up, but no one else can have it. I mean, I'll be honest, you're better off just wasting the cluster than the precision. This is just, this is just wild. I mean, you know, the whole mindset of not letting other players have it, I get it, and I'm for it. But at least, like, try to launch it at somebody. And also the fact that the circle's coming in 50 seconds. The odds of someone coming, actually, it's like, five seconds. The odds of someone coming over here to pick it up. There's better shit we should be on our time. Again, we got a buy station. As the circle closes in, more players will be clustered towards that buy station. So the fact that it took so long to get there, to get our loadout, means that there's probably going to be other people there now. This is why I say momentum is a big deal. Maybe there's not people there, but that's a risk I'm not willing to take. They know we're here now. Now, this is not one of those gas masks you can go this deep in, bro. We gotta, we gotta really think about how we're gonna play this. In that situation there, when you have a normal gas and not a dairy, bro, you gotta just run in, plate up, and re-challenge the guy on the rooftop. Might get safe, but where the hell is the, the homie at? There he is. You saw him. You saw him right there. Yep, yep. And another one in the ravine. Yep. We saw him, but he didn't. OEG Rojo. Enemies on the high ground right here. We're going to smoke them out for an unknown reason. Again, gas is gonna rotate in, so we're gonna have to fight this fight eventually. We're waking. Bro, who's taking way too long doing things? He got blessed by a fuck ton of orange crates, but other than that, that's kind of the only luck. He's here left. You just saw him, Bob. What are you doing? You saw him again. Here, we're gonna have a quick conversation. He's gonna die. Or he's not gonna die. Oh, another guy. Okay, let's have a conversation. It's coming, guys. I promise.
I want you all to tweak your sensitivity to where you stop doing stupid shit like that. You know why he didn't see those enemies 900 times? Because his eyes physically cannot register images fast enough. So when he's doing all this crazy Joa looking, it's not really helping him out or benefiting him at all because he, he's not registering what's on his screen. This is funny. I mean, I, I definitely agree with this. Wait, what the fuck? How did he, how did he get up with full plates? Now, normally I'd be like, oh, he broke his ankles, but the dude got shot. We saw him get shot down, right? Maybe I'm drunk. Oh, look, if you guys are having trouble spotting enemies that are next to you because you turn around and do all that crazy shit, turn your sensitivity down. You don't have to have it 2020. You don't have to have it 1010. Fuck, you don't even have to have it 77. A lot of pros play at five. A lot of goats play at five and below. I don't recommend really go, going below five, but do a sensitivity that benefits you. So many, and, and as a streamer, I get this a lot. People come to my chat and not say a fucking word, not ask a question. Those be like exclamation sense to find out what my sensitive, my sensitivity is, and then they did. That's a bad, bad thing to do because the sensitivity I use is based off of, again, my hand-eye coordination, my reaction time, um, the type of DPI I have, the type of mouse I have, and if you're a controller player, again, the type of device you have on top of that. Are you gonna melee each other? Just stand it. Yeah, there you go. How do you have a nuke skin, brother? God only knows. Wonder how much that cost you. Um, so guys, look, just because, you know, your homie has a sensitivity or a creator you watch has a sensitivity, do not use that unless you're good with it. If you're struggling with it, turn that shit off. And I'm not making fun of Rojo yet, but that was, that was a lot of observation. He just did not have, he spotted that one enemy three times and then a guy down the street an extra time. And both of those guys that should have killed him, he got lucky that the first guy he didn't see got shot by the second guy that he didn't see, which got also got shot by the third guy, which we couldn't see. So again, he live he's living because of luck. And sticking to his mindset of I'm just gonna play slow. Now look, this the brand new map, don't I said this during Almazra, I said this during Caldera, I said this during Vernance. When a new map drops, do not just sit there like I'm gonna win every game. I didn't even try to win once today. Not even once, right? Switch back to Amazra. We won the first, the only game we played on Amazra. Went back to this game. And I didn't even give a shit. I am trying to win. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to learn the map. Understand the building layouts. That way, if you're getting chased, if you're getting pushed, you know how the building works. You know how to play it to the T and you can outplay enemies because of the knowledge alone. Bomb drone. I hear footsteps too. That was lit. Good panic there. There are footsteps next to us as well, by the way. We have a fire sale. We have a smoke grenade. We could smoke it by multiple UAVs. But we're not going to. He's going to waste another precision so he can maybe buy another precision. That's kind of wild. UAVs are way more beneficial than precisions. But yeah. Oh, weird. Weird. There's the footsteps we heard. A dude ran back to a better cover. Now he's out in the open. Easy kill. Okay, he did buy a UE too. I'll give him something. There's a zip line next to us we could take to get to a better position, but because again, he's panicking, he's not paying attention to his mini map, he's not thinking about playability. There was a guy on the bridge, big, could be, could be a huge issue. Guy on the rooftop, could be a huge issue. Guy behind us, could be a huge issue. Best place to play, in my opinion, is taking the zip, get the hell out of there. But we're gonna swim like we're Lapras from Pokemon and just kind of vibe out. He won't win this game. I can always tell by a player's play style whether or not they're gonna win a game or not. And it, I'm not saying he never wins. Probably gets lucky. But he most likely will, he won't win this game. There's no most likely about it. Okay, now we're getting a little bit more UAVs. And again, the reason why I wanted him to throw the smoke at the buy was so Dick Farm done to our left-hand side wouldn't have shot us. And also fire sale, we had 15 grand. Advanced UAV, yeah, that seemed like a good idea. For those of you that are new, if you throw up three UAVs, that gives you an advanced UAV, which identifies people even with ghosts. That was a good fight right there. So see, he might not even be a bad player. He's just playing really, really scared, really, really bad. And this is the beauty behind spectating solos. A lot of people play hella scary when they're by themselves, man. And again, people are better than they give themselves credit for, or at least better than they act. When you play the edge of the gas, you're, you're playing with fire. You're not the only one playing with the edge. 
Again, if you're a good player, play the edge to your heart's content because that's where you're going to get the kills on players like this. If you're trying to be a better player, if you're not happy with yourself and your gameplay at this moment in time, most of the time, don't play the edge. Most of the time, do not play the edge. In game, different situation, but beginning to middle, do not ever play the edge because there's going to be a lot of other people, good, bad, ugly, that are going to be there with you. And you're honestly going to put yourself in more fights than you really want to get in in the first place. Okay, now we've we've put ourselves in a bad spot again. Spectating a whole nother player. My first instinct would not be to jump into the water. My first instinct would be to try to fight this guy. Use my audio to figure out where he's at. A lot of doorways, a lot of windows, a lot of ways in and out of that building. We could rotate to the enemy and kill. Because remember, if you have a 1v1 fight and you're able to win it, like that was a winnable fight and you run away, that enemy now has a potential chance to come up behind you and kill you later in the game. Why not try to get his ass out of the match, dude? Gulag's disabled and all. Going back to gatekeeping from yesterday's video. Look at this. Staircase brings us right up to the edge of the circle. I don't know what the hell he's doing. There you go. Did he just nod at me? Look how he's, look how he's clearing the staircase. He's not. Guys. Be tactical. As you're going up the staircase, I want you to clear as you're turning. Right now, we should be looking up. Do I, do I need to make another YouTube short on how to clear staircase? I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm genuinely asking. If you want me to give you guys a video, a quick 60 second video on how to clear staircase, I, I'm going to do it anyway, because it's ridiculous. You have got to, the moment that clears up on the left hand side, and you're going around the corner, you've got to start looking up. Otherwise, you get fucked up. And that mindset of clearing staircases is how you clear angles too. Going back to your boy in the beginning who got killed in the gas station. He jumped through the window, never cleared his corners. This guy here jumps out the window, never cleared his corners. And that dude literally killed the other guy who did the exact same mistake he just did. If you're not learning from your own mistakes, at least learn from mistakes from the people you're killing. Like if you ever watch a stream, a lot of, most people don't watch streams, but if you do watch a stream, you ever notice, like, especially me, I'm like, that is an idiot for that. Because I'm analyzing what the enemy did, so I know that I don't do that shit either. And if I'm like, damn, I would have done that, then now all of a sudden I'm not going to anymore. Players always message and they're like, Savage, I can't sit here and just watch my own gameplay. Don't have to. Just watch the people you kill, bro. If they're doing something you find yourself doing, don't do it. If you kill a guy cr crouch walking, stop it. Don't crouch walk. It's simple. I will say that I do love I do love this map. I think it's just beautiful. It's not my favorite gameplay on a competitive standpoint, but like why not fight them? Your squad is in the top five. Let's Again, you have to fight them. You see the buildings. I didn't know there was guys up there, but you can assume there's a rooftop gate keeping your ass at every turn. So like the guy was right there, just put your gas mask off, contest them and fight them, and then go with your move. Try to play it. Oh, look at this, dude. Spartan Whiskey 75. Let's go, baby. What kind of whiskey you drinking on? What's your favorite whiskey, chat? I'm looking to expand my horizon and my palate. Any cigar smokers in the chat? Let me know. Or in the comments. Get a little personal. There you go. That's why I said, what is this doing doing with that pistol? Look how many bullets it took. God damn. Also, I do feel that TTK. People kept coming to stream today asking, Savage, does the TTK change drastic? Is the health change drastic? Oh, yeah, it is. Do I have to say that one? Ladies and gentlemen, if there's a player knocked in front of you, you're more than happy to execute. Just don't go stand over him, because remember, somebody else downed that motherfucker from where he was sitting. And he's probably doing the same shit to you. I will say, too, that not being able to see where the gas is at is real fucking weird. I, I love the cover. I, he, Guys, cover versus concealment versus nothing. Cover versus concealment versus nothing, guys. Look. Nothing. Laying behind something stupid like a... Like a park bench where they can see you. That's that's you might as well be laying in the middle of the fucking freeway. It's dumb. Two, cover is an, a hard object 
where if you're hiding behind it, not only could players potentially not see you, but if they know you're back there, they cannot penetrate it and shoot through it to hit you. Concealment, conceals, magic man. Conceals your, the visual from the enemy, but they can shoot through it. Cover, brick wall, concealment, a tent. Dumb shit, a a park bench, don't do that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe today, and guys, I will catch you in the next one.